Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. Well, I continue on the east coast of the United States, uh, uh, many, many miles away from my home territory in the great state of Texas. Uh, and I've been thinking today, you know, when I get away for just a few days to visit family like I'm doing now, uh, I'm reminding myself about how distracted I get uh, in my normal routine. Uh, it's not uncommon for me to uh, uh, start on a task uh, early in the day and uh, get sidetracked and uh, move on to something else and uh, only very late in the day remember that I didn't finish what I had started earlier. And I won't even talk about the fact that that happens more and more often the older I get. Uh, as someone once told me, I think of the hereafter all the time. I walk into a room and wonder what I'm here after. Uh, but be that as it may, uh, we do get so distracted. We live in the, an era that prides itself on multitasking. Uh, and I disagree with the whole philosophy of multitasking. Uh, to me, especially when I see uh, that in children, it really just tells me that there is an inability to stay focused, uh, a lack of concentration to finish one task uh, before moving on to the next one. And I know there are jobs where you're required to juggle multiple things at the same time, uh, but it leads us to be distracted all the time. And spiritually, that's not a good thing. When we take our eyes off the Lord, we get in trouble uh, quickly. Uh, and so we first of all must remember to stay focused on the one who created us and knows everything about us and loves us and is with us all the time. We should never overlook him, not even for a moment. We must pay attention to what the Lord is doing in our lives and in the lives of those around us. It's crucial to us. Um, I had a, <coughs> a friend at a, uh, when I was in North Dakota in, uh, uh, as dean of the cathedral who uh, lived on one of the Native American uh, nations uh, up there. Uh, and he told me at a Bible study once about a special breed of dog uh, that was being used uh, on his nation uh, to keep black bears away. Bears were impinging on the territory of humans. Actually, it was the humans who were impinging on the territory of the bears, but we won't go into that. Uh, and there's a special breed of dog from Finland called the Karelian bear dog. <clears throat> These dogs are specifically bred uh, not to fight with bears. Uh, that would be silly for a dog to try to take on a, a bear. Uh, the Karelian bear dogs uh, were, were uh, experts at tracking bears, at uh, uh, being aware of the presence of bears, of watching for them, and, and scaring them off. Uh, that's what the Karelian bear dogs did. And yes, if they had to fight, they would to protect uh, their people. And they're not big dogs. They're the 60, 70 pounds for the most part. That's, that's a lot less than my dog, Dot, weighs. Dot's a 93-pound uh, Rhodesian Ridgeback, which in uh, Africa, uh, that breed is known as uh, uh, the lion dog for the same reason. Not that uh, the Rhodesian Ridgebacks uh, attack and try to fight bears. They scare them off. Uh, and in a pack, they, they really can scare bears away from uh, territory. And in, in the case of Dodd and her breed, uh, lions. But the Karelian bear dog uh, uh, was uh, adept at tracking bears. And so my friend was telling me that uh, there was one dog that uh, started stiffing and picked up a bear scent immediately and, and just headed off after it. Uh, and then he noticed as the bear uh, went a different way and he found out later that the bear came across the scent of a deer and went chasing after the deer and, and was uh, tracking the deer uh, and then came across the scent of a wolf and veered off and started following the scent of the wolf uh, and veered away again following the scent of a, of a, a rabbit and was uh, chasing down the scent of a rabbit and then came across uh, another scent and went that way. And when he caught up with the dog, the dog was barking and pointing at, a, at the hole where a field rat was. So the dog set out in search of uh, a bear to protect his people and wound up barking down the hole of a field rat. Uh, and 
uh, my friend said that that's what we do, and it is. We have big plans sometimes each day, but when we take our eyes off the Lord, we wind up howling uh, at field rats in our life, and uh, that happens when we get distracted. Please remember that the Lord is with you. Jesus loves you. Uh, keep your focus on him. He's not going to lead you astray. When you have questions or concerns during the day, ask him. He knows where he is leading you. He's leading you into eternity with him. And he loves you, and he's not going to lead you astray. And when we remember that, we can keep our focus, keep following the scent of the Lord into the world where he is already at work and needs our help especially with those who have so much less than we do. I hope you have a blessed day today, and God willing, I will see you here again from the east coast of the United States uh, tomorrow. Have a blessed day.